Hey guys, uh, Chopadong here, and I wanted to show you a quick way of finding the chalk using Domination Station hockey uh, ownerships. When the ownerships get uploaded and we can use them, you can do this like right away. You don't even have to run a lineup or a stack or anything to be able to determine sort of where the chalk should be on a given night. And you can cross-reference it with other sites if you belong to other places, but this is really all you need to do. Um, Come in here to say FanDuel, NHL, main slate, look at the teams, right? Come down here, click the ownership column, right? So that it flips and the chalk comes to the top. And then let's just look down here to about 12% or so, 30% down to 12%. We can see Nicholas Robertson is going to be the chalk, whether you've got him on line three, power play one, or line four, power play zero, whatever, wherever he shows up. I've seen him in a couple of different places today. He's going to be highly owned, probably the highest owned guy on the slate because he's the cheapest, right? He's cheap and he's in a good spot, blah, blah, blah. But if I look right here, Toronto's the top three, four, five, six, seven on that front page. Toronto's a chalk, right? They're all the highest owned guys. They're the chalk on this FanDuel slate. So if I come down here, what do I want to do next? Who's the second chalk? Well, you can scroll down a little bit and see hoops are popping up. Or... Come up here and click Toronto and turn them white. Take them out. Now who's next? Who do you see next? It's like Boston. One, two, three, four, five. There's three Columbus guys in there. A couple of Florida guys. So kind of a mix, but mostly Boston. So there you go. Toronto, Boston, or the Chalk on FanDuel. Done. It just doesn't have to be more complicated than that. If you want to go back and do DraftKings, you go to the DraftKings Hockey Slate and do the same thing. Let's scroll down, click Projected Ownership, bring all the chalk to the top. We can see that there's not quite the ownership over there that there was on uh, FanDuel. Oh, look, Calgary and Toronto and Boston. They're a three-way tie, if you will, right? So if I'm looking at Calgary, Toronto, and Boston, and I go, huh, who's being left out? Toronto, Boston, Calgary. There's a Florida at 5.4. 5.4 implied goals. There's Colorado at 4.0 implied goals. Might want to consider those guys in a more contrarian build, huh? They're under-owned for their implied total, their implied team goal total. 4.4, 4.7. Three point six eight for a chalky team, please, please. Five point four one by far highest implied goal total on the slate. Completely ignored. Like third owned, fourth owned, something like that. They're way too under the radar for where they should be. That means they're a good offense tonight for tournaments. That's what that means. And it took what three minutes, and we did both sites. Super easy way to do this. If you really wanted to dig into it, you can see Toronto 1, Toronto 2, Toronto 2, uh, Marizic's the goalie, Toronto 4, Toronto 1, Toronto 1. So you see some Toronto 1s and 2s. You see Calgary 1 with the goalie. Calgary, Calgary 2 is way down here and forgotten. So you want to be contrarian? Run Calgary 2. You get a chalky team in a great offensive matchup tonight. And it's not the one people are using. You took the other one. You look at Boston. Boston 1. Where's Boston 2? Pasta. And then down here a little bit lower in the ownership, the 10-12 range. So you get somewhat semi-chalk, almost chalk, if you will, with Boston 2. You can run Boston 2, Calgary 2, leave a crap load of money on the table, or fire it up with a Nathan McKinnon or a Connor McDavid or a Austin Matthews or a stud one-off. You're low enough owned in your stacks that you can take chalky one-offs. No big deal. You're plenty unique and you're still in the right spots. It may or may not work for you tonight, but this is the methodology that's going to make you a good player, going to make you a competitive player. It's going to give you professional caliber fighting chances tonight. And again, it didn't even take five minutes. So in and out, peace out homies. Just wanted to show you today's quick tip. See you later.